Hey guys, how are you doing? We have one topic for you today. We will show you the current flux curve of Tabby Star using David Lane's latest V-band measurements taken from the Burke Gaffney Observatory located in Nova Scotia, Canada. So this is the updated visual magnitude V-band measurements which were taken by David Lane over slightly more than a two-year period. And the light blue line is the 20 data point simple moving average and the red line is the calculated accelerating long-term dimming curve. And during this time frame, we fell approximately 4.1% in this two-year span of time where we achieved the lowest point on September 14th of 2017. Since then, we've experienced a departure from the accelerating long-term dimming curve, where Tabby Star has brightened approximately 1.1% over the last 57 days from September 14th to the present date. So that we can take a closer look, let's magnify the portion highlighted in the red box, which spans the time from August 7th, 2017 to the present date. So this shows a better view of that departure from the accelerating long-term dimming curve, where we made our lowest average flux point on September 14th of this year. As you can see, we had a pretty immediate and steep slope upward after that date, through to late October, where the brightening has leveled at 1.1% higher than the lowest point. The 20 data point simple moving average is still slightly rising as expected as it catches up with the latest data, but overall it looks like it has leveled off. So where we go from here guys is anyone's guess. Is this just a thin spot in the material encasing Tabby Star causing the long term dimming, or is this caused by reflection of a large object making its way from behind Tabby Star, as suggested by one of our subscribers. And where do we go from here, further up or further down in brightness? Only time will tell, guys, and this channel will be here to continue to update you guys along the way. So take care, guys, and we will see you in our next video update.